All right, so part of what made Gettysburg very good for defense for the first core made it hard for the 11th. Because as you can see on the first day, all the ridges run east to, or run north south. Nothing really is natural for defense east to west. And so that's part of what leads to Barlow's Knoll, which I believe is around that area. All right, so we're also at the site where Alfred Iverson, I believe it was Alfred, North Carolinian Brigade came up through as well as uh, O'Neill's brigade of both of Rhodes Division would come through, they'd attack roughly from over there and through over and through here. And they came up through and Iverson's brigade, when they hit this stone wall here, the uh, Baxter's brigade rose up and just fired it, poured a deadly fire into these guys. And their brigade just disintegrated. Um, basically, they lost 81% of their brigade in de dead and wounded. It was so bad, Iverson actually resigned his command and served under somebody else shortly after. 